Hi guys. See in the previous video, we discussed decorator. We had seen what are the prerequisites for writing a decorator and we wrote a couple of them. Today, what we will see is how to write decorator using object oriented programming that is OP. Now, in decorator, what happens is we will always have a function. That function does something. We need to modify the output of function. Now, if we need to modify the output that the function is giving, we have to go and modify that function to get a, a modified output. But the requirement is you cannot touch the original function. The function in question should not be touched. No change in code. But still, you should be able to manage a modified output. So say, for example, I have a function. It prints hello. That function is already there. This is the function. What does it do? Uh, what does it do? It prints hello. Right? Good. If I run this, it is printing hello. But the requirement is you please underline hello. That means the output needs to be modified, but you cannot touch this function. And that is what is decorator, right? So what we had written first before writing decorator, let us write a normal function. How we, why, how we can do that? So I will say def. I can write any name. I can write modifier okay and it takes function then i come here i will say please invoke the function which i have passed and additionally you do this one one two three four five okay just see now if i invoke my modifier passing this function what happens look i have already modified my original function see output is hello underscore this output is only hello i wrote this i got it well and good but the but the thing is i have to use decorator not in this fashion okay not in this fashion so let us transform this into decorator format so in decorator what happens you will have Key, uh, there will be at the rate decorator or some function you will write below that you will write uh, the original function and then this modifier you will write you will return modifiers uh, object all those things let me write so what happens is you do you copy here I am telling you how you can write normally like this and then you can transform this into decorator syntax so like paste it okay and here what I write I write some name you write decorator not necessarily that you should write decorator the name whatever you want to write then I copy this function just see this I will copy here and I will indent it let me indent this good and here one more thing I am writing return modifier okay additional thing def decorator and then pass function okay and don't pass here now remove from here so what happens when i will execute this function now i have to invoke for sure okay let me see whether i have any syntax error yes i have let us be careful okay we should be able to deal with that so when i will invoke this function I'm just invoking this function through this particular syntax. This function is passed to this decorator. This particular thing is defined. Okay. And then what happens? It will be invoked. It will first print function and then please underline. Okay. Just see. Hello, underline. This we had also seen how I can write 
differently. So I will not write decorator now. Okay, let this function be like this. Now what these two functions are there. This is original. This is what I am trying to modify. Now how I will invoke this? Another way of doing is you write decorator and pass function. See, when you say decorator function, this decorator is getting invoked. This function is getting invoked. You are passing this function and then this is getting defined. The entire thing is defined. So what will happen? What is the result of this particular function? What is the result of this uh, function? Define modifier and return modifier. Since I have I already invoking and it, there is a return modifier, I can write some name over here. I say write M, M and modifier. Both are same thing. M is equal to modifier. You can write whatever you feel like. Done. Now, what I will do? I will say, please invoke this. See, when I invoke this, what is happening? This modifier is getting invoked. It is invoking. I mean, now what it will do? It has already got this address, right? So when I do this, it is invoking this function and then it is printing. Now, the beauty is it was discussed in earlier video when we discuss closure, even though the function, decorator function has exited when I wrote this, still, when I invoke my modifier, this particular parameter, right, function parameter, this modifier remembers and then it invokes. This concept is called closure. Please watch that video. It is very clearly explain in detail so please watch that video that concept will be uh, clear so closure is also there the concept of closure is also working here so now if i say well hello underscore see in many ways we have seen i can write like this correct so let me write in one cell i will write here in jupyter notebook we have to be very careful about this uh, thing because sometimes you will run and those things will be already there uh, in the memory and there will be a lot of confusion so this and here what i will do this also i will write in uh, one cell here okay fine okay let me remove this now let me remove this cell good now i invoke this you get this output I invoke this, I get this output. Okay, this is all about writing decorator using normal function. The objective of today's video is to write the same thing using OOP, object oriented programming. So, let us see how we will write. So, before I write object oriented programming, I would like to discuss two very basic things of object oriented programming okay so suppose if you have something like this class my class you are writing okay then this is called constructor constructor is a function which gets invoked automatically when you create an object so i will say i am invoked automatically okay i am okay i am known as a constructor i will say it. i will just discuss what what exactly it is meaning so let us create an object which is called instantiation, tongue twisting word. Okay, so here what I will create object obj equal to my class. When I write like this, I am basically creating an object of this class. The moment I do, this is going to get invoked. See, error message is what? 
class in missing one required positional punk from where it has come no it should not come okay it was earlier so object by class i am invoked automatically i am known as a constructor this is coming automatically you are not invoked you have done nothing now there is another function underscore underscore call these are special type of function okay see these are called dunder function dunder function what is that it's called dunder see you read like this under and double double so remove this and bring this close now read the things which are not there under bracket so dunder so dunder means there will be double underscore they are special methods used by python so what happens when i use when this this particular function also gets invoked automatically you need not call it you can call but there is no need to call so here i will say print i get invoked automatically when object with parenthesis two parenthesis automatically when object with parenthesis is written now see what happens okay now i already created object just see i will say object parenthesis only this much i there will do and the call will get invoked see there is an error object my class object is not callable uh, i don't know okay so it is all about jupyter notebooks uh, challenges okay so here obj i get invoked automatically when so see there are two methods i have written both are getting automatically invoked first is init which is called constructor the other is call it gets called when i write object name followed by parenthesis done i have discussed this because this is what i am going to use to create this particular decorator using class so just see here what i will do i will bring this here just let me copy as it is okay and uh, let me create and just shift here let me go top top okay now i just see here now what happens this is created let me remove this and i will write what i want to do now now what i will do is i will say funk and i will say self funk is equal to funk okay let me remove this as well okay so this will get automatically invoked and when i am creating object when it is getting automatic at the time of creating my object i will pass this function okay so where is my function it is already there just bring it down okay jupyter notebook can uh, remember even that cell fine but let me where is my function okay this is my function bring it yeah please come so come here good here it is i can write here itself okay this is my normal function see this has nothing to do with my class clear so what i will do is now i will write here at the rate my class okay and here when i am writing like this see what exactly will happen i will tell you inside 
uh, class, what I will say, I will say, please invoke this cell function. Now, from where it will call, come? I mean, it has to be invoked. So, I will say self function like this, and then it will be followed by print one, two, three, four, five. So what happens is, I can all uh, I can also write in a different way, but let me let me run this. So what is happening? I wrote it in my class, and this is the function. Okay, let me create an object now and just see whether it really gets invoked or not. So what I will write? OBJ equal to my class like this. Now, when I write this line, this is getting invoked, which means I am making my, this will see that it is automatically getting invoked, correct? So, the function goes, okay, let me remove this for the time being, let me remove, okay. I can also write, what, when I'm invoking, I'm passing this function, this function is getting copied over here and then then I will write obj parenthesis. So what is happening? When I say my class func, this func, this func is getting copied over here from outside and I'm making this outside function as object function. Then this is done. Now, when I will write like obj parenthesis, I told you that call will get called. And when call is getting called, the cell function will get called. So, a cell function is nothing but this function. It will print hello. And then, I will print print underscore underscore five times. So, see, the same output, the output which I was getting through normal function, I have got through class. Okay. Now, let me try and write that uh, syntactic sugar. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. But anyway, let us try that. Okay. Let us not uh, get bogged down uh, by the thought of making error. No problem. I will write like this. And... When I have done this, there is no need to do all this hangama. All that you have to write is just write function. See what is happening. Function, when I am writing, this will get invoked. Automatically, this at the rate my class of this is going to behave like a decorator. Automatically, when class is getting invoked, the decorator, this will get invoked. And when it is getting invoked, this function will get passed. See, this is what happens. You know, when you pass with the decorator, what happens? Just see, when you pass with the decorator, this function gets copied as a parameter. So in the class object, what will happen? It will get copied in this initialization, this constructor. Now it is getting in, uh, uh, copied. So this function will be copied in my object function. And then what happens automatically, it will execute this particular call method because I'm writing this, right? So this is getting invoked. It goes there and call method calls it and yeah, the job is done. See, hello, underscore, underscore. So let me summarize the whole thing. First, we wanted to write class decorator. Before we de uh, could, before we uh, wrote this, we discuss what is a decorator. Decorator is nothing but a function which need which needs to be modified to get a modify output. But hold on, you cannot modify the function. Don't touch that function but do whatever you want to do. I want a different output. What is the different output? This is printing hello. I want hello to be underlined. So that is a modification. I have taken very simple example. 
okay to understand the concept well so i can write like this normal method i have done that well but if you like that uh, if you write like this look it looks that you are invoking some other function not this function so now the now the everything is built around the requirement of calling only this function mind you so if i modify i am calling modifier function it looks oh you have written anyway as, as some other function you have to user should not get to know what you have done he should only invoke function and he should get modified output then he will be or stuck right oh my output was different now i have given a requirement and the output got changed and the function they have not even touched great fine so here this is what it is so this doesn't work this is this is not the way it has to be written so we write decorator see this entire thing i'm repeating this this entire thing has been copied one additional thing that i have written is return modifier then my original function is there i wrote decorator and then here i wrote def decorator and this particular function is getting passed as an argument and now i only write function look i am writing only function but the output is different but original function is what if i original function is giving me only hello i have done all this thing to make sure that i am getting modified output this we discussed very nice and then we discuss if i were to write the same thing using class using object oriented programming then what i will do so we discuss this prerequisites right i we will be using constructor we will be using this dunder call method so we discuss how it works it this is a method which gets automatically invoked and this also gets automatically invoked when i write object name followed by parenthesis so this we discuss now having understood that now what we have done look this function is there this is not part of my class it is lying outside now here i have defined this init so when i am creating my class like this this constructor is getting invoked i am passing function and with this outside function i am creating object function and then it is getting in copied to object so object got getting created and then when i am saying object parenthesis this call this dunder method is getting invoked what it is doing it is saying self func self func is nothing but this function it will print hello and then print underscore so i am getting this output great now this is not acceptable because writing like this is not looking good right so what i will do now i will get into syntactic sugar what is syntactic sugar nothing you know what i will eliminate this so now it, this function is there on top of that i will write at the rate my class and i will just invoke function there i will write this function and it is giving me this output it looks that nothing has been done and through some magic my only hello is uh, now coming as hello underscore okay i hope uh, this concept is clear Uh, to you now in the following videos i will write more decorators we will see how we can write nested decorator okay decorator on top of another decorator so we can have layers we will discuss nested decorator and we will also write some complex program uh, using decorator concept so thanks for uh, watching and i will see you in the upcoming video